Hello, I'm Bobby Galuba with ubitech.com and welcome to my 14th video recorded on Saturday, June 4th, 2016. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install CADSoft Eagle version 7.6. Eagle is a uh, schematic and PCB layout program, and so let's go ahead and we'll see how to download and install it. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to single left click on the E for Microsoft Edge, which is the browser that I have in Windows 10. And then I'm going to single left click in the address bar for my browser, and I'm going to type in the address for CADSoft USA, which is www.cadsoftusa.com. Okay, and so the latest version is version 7.6. And for those of you who don't know, EAGLE stands for Easily Applicable Graphical Layout Editor. Alright, and what I'm going to do is I'm going, I'm going to in download and install their freeware version. And if you see down here, here is the link to download their freeware version. Okay, so I'm going to single left click on that. And I'll go ahead and tell it uh, to allow cookies. I'm going to single left click on my scroll bar and scroll down a little bit. I'm going to single left click on the link that says download area under how do I get it. And my operating system is Windows 10 64-bit edition. So what I want to do is I want to hover over uh, the link that says eagle-win64-7.6.0.exe. Alright, so I'm going to hover over that, and I want to single right-click on it, and then single left-click on Save Target As. Okay, let's see here. Let's uh, click OK, and I'll get rid of that error message there. And what I want to do is go to my utilities directory. I'm going to single left click on this PC. And actually, I'm going to single left click on the arrow to the left of it. I'll single left click on local disk C. And then I'm going to single left click on, uh, or excuse me, I'm going to double left click on my utilities directory. I like to put all of my installation programs into one folder called utilities. So I'm going to double left click on that. And then I'm going to single left click on the new folder button. And the way I like to name my folders is I like to have no spaces and I like to capitalize the first letter of each word. All right, and the reason why I like to have no spaces is that if you ever write uh, batch programs and scripts, if you have spaces in your path, that can uh, sometimes cause problems. So as a habit, I always uh, try to avoid putting spaces in my folder and file names. So let's uh, name it, let's see, CADSoft, Eagle, version 7.6 installation program. Okay, and then I'm going to single left click on the white background. Then I'll single left click, or excuse me, then I'll double left click on the CAD Soft Eagle version 7.6 installation program folder that I just created. And then now I'm in that folder. All right. And then what I want to do is here's the file name that it's going to save it as, and we can just leave it at that, uh, leave it um, with that same file name, and then we want a single left click on the save button. Okay, so now it's downloading the file. We're at about 48% done. Now 
and we'll let that continue. And once that is finished, it will uh, allow me to open the folder that it's downloading it into. Okay, we're at about 97%, and it's almost done. Okay, it's going to run a security scan, and there we go. So now let's single left click on Open Folder. And it should open the folder that it downloaded it to. Actually, I think it's down here. Okay, so there we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to single left click on the E for Microsoft Edge, and I'm going to close that. So I single left clicked on it, or excuse me, I single right clicked on it, then I'm going to single left click on close window. Okay, now I want to run the installation program, but I want to run it as, as it, excuse me, I want to run it as an administrator. So I'm going to single left click on it, or excuse me, I'm going to single right click on it, and uh, then I'm going to uh, run as administrator. Actually, let me let me show you. Um, let's do this over again. What I'm going to do is I'm going to single left click on the background, deselect it, because I want to show you what it looks like when it's deselected. All right. So now I'm going to single left click on it. Then I'm going to single right click on it, and then single left click on run as administrator. Now you want to select run as administrator because if you don't run it as an administrator it may not install properly and you may have problems with it later on or it may not install at all. So let's single left click on run as administrator. Okay then it's going to display this user account control window and we want to single left click on the yes button. Okay and then this WinZip self extractor window is going to pop up and we want a single left click on setup. Okay, so now it's unzipping all of the files. And it's a good idea to kind of watch what it's doing as it's going along. So if you ever have to install it again, you'll have a, an idea of whether or not it's working properly. And as I was saying before, just in case you didn't know, in case you've never used Eagle, it's a program which you can use for laying out schematics and PCBs or printed circuit boards. And we're going to be uh, using the light or free version that they have. Um, the light version or free version, from what I've read, has all of the functionality, but it's limited in the maximum size of the board that you can design and also in the number of layers that you can use. Okay, so here we go. Now it says, welcome, welcome to the Eagle Setup Program. This program will install Eagle on your computer. Click Next to continue with the Setup Program. So let's go ahead and single left click on the Next button. And here's the software license agreement. If you want to read this over, you can just scroll down but I don't think you're probably going to want to read that. It looks like it's pretty boring stuff. So let's single left click on the Yes button. And then you can change the directory that you want to install it in, but I'm going to let it install into, into the default directory. So I'm going to single left click on Next. And then I'm going to single left click on Next again. And then now it's copying files uh, to my computer, it says. Okay, so there we go. It's almost done copying the files. Alright, 
So now what I want to do is I want to single left click on the radio button for the run as freeware version. Okay, now you can use a full version if you have a license, but you've got to pay for that. So I want to use the free version, so I'm going to single left click on the run as freeware radio button. And then I'm going to single left click on next. Alright, so it, said, it says Eagle setup is now complete. I'm going to single left click on finish. And then there we go, the WinZip window went away. I'm going to close this window for my folder which I have the installation program in. And then let's see if we can open the program. Now typically I usually shut the computer all the way down and start it back up. So let's go ahead and we'll, we'll do that first. So I'm going to single left click on the little start button at the bottom left hand corner of the screen. I'm going to single left click on the power button. And then I'm going to single left click on shut down. Okay, so I've shut my computer down all the way. I've started it back up and I've logged back into it. So now let's see if I can find CAD Soft Eagle in my start menu. So I'm going to hover over the uh, little window for the start menu at the bottom left hand corner of my screen, or the window icon I should say. I'm going to single left click on that window icon. Then I'm going to single left click on all apps and as you can see over to the right it says new so that gives me an indication that a new program has been installed or a new application. Okay so let's scroll down. If you see over to the right there's a little scroll bar. In fact up here you can see where it's under the recently added list of items. But let's see if we can scroll down and see if it's in the alphabetical list as well. Okay, so here it is. Here uh, is Eagle Layout Editor. And it says 7 there. We can click on the little uh, V and then it'll turn into an upside down V and give you a list of the files that are associated with the program. So to start it, what we want to do is we want to single left click on Eagle 7.6.0. And we'll wait for it to start up here. Okay, so it's going to give you this little warning window that says the directory C colon backslash users backslash user backslash documents backslash eagle doesn't exist. Um, now that's not a big problem it just means that that directory or that folder has not been created yet. Okay and again it says eagle needs this directory to store your projects. If you don't want to create this directory now or if you want to use a different directory you can answer no here and make the proper adjustments later in the control panel under options forward slash directories and then it says create it and we're going to single left click on yes to create it. So this isn't an error it just it's just telling you that the folder that it wants to put the projects into doesn't exist yet. So let's go ahead and single left click on the yes button. Okay. Alright so I don't think I'm going to enter their contest right now. So we'll just close this. We'll single left click on the X to close it. And there we go. We have the program. Let's go ahead and maximize it. And then now we can start using it. So that's a short video on how to download and install CADSoft Eagle, which again stands for Easily Applicable Graphical Layout Editor. And again, this is a program that allows you to design and layout schematics and PCBs or printed circuit boards. So again my name is Bobby Galuba with ubatech.com. Thanks for watching and I hope you learned something. Take care.